It was a building information modeling competition. Uh, the problem statement was to design a campus wellness center for a large sprawling campus. Um, the area statements were given to us. We were free to improve upon the areas, add a couple of spaces if we wanted to. Uh, we had to design a primary healthcare center for a campus with a few other spaces uh, to instill the feeling of wellness. The entire building was absolutely open, it was very natural, we brought nature absolutely into the building, not by planting trees inside and giving it artificial light or light openings in the centre, but uh, by keeping the building open itself. More importantly than slapping on solar panels onto a building and building integrated photovoltaics and um, wind turbines, what we need is climate sensitive architecture. Uh, the shape and size of the building, the entire building mass is such that the energy intake of the building is relatively low. Like, you know, we could have gone for like a, a much more free-flowing structure, an iconic building, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to respond to the climate, at the same time create lovely spaces. We kept the scale human in nature. We tried to not process it a lot. Uh, if it's concrete, it's kept in, in the raw natural state, so that when you're walking, you can actually feel the roughness and the texture on your feet. The entire thought process was like a one-day affair, where when we sat, three of us, we sat, brainstormed, and you know, just sketched and sketched and one after the other because you can't begin, so begin on the software itself. Yeah. You know, it's the human brain which has to be free flowing. So that's when softwares like Ecotech and Vasari came in to fine tune the design to give us better performance. So once our main shape and size roughly is ready, so then we can begin, as you said, the iterative process and uh, you know, tweak the design a little bit to give us better performance. And uh, BIM also gave us inputs like the exact sun position, the play of shadows. So we could use BIM not just to optimize our building on an energy point of view, but we could also use it to optimize quality of spaces. The way I look at it, uh, there's, I see like there's a certain romance about uh, getting good spaces and uh, how spaces speak to people and how people respond to them. And uh, trying to get people to respond to a certain space in a certain manner and having that romance between the person and the space is, is what makes it fun for me. Never stop designing for a better world. Learn how at sustainabilityworkshop.autodesk.com.